Hi, welcome to the STEM Audio Ecosystem Platform Advanced Setting video. So in a previous video, we kind of walked through the platform itself and we talked about all the different features. However, we skipped the advanced setting part of it, which is covered in the general organization as well as inside the rooms and the devices. That's what we're gonna go over in this video. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We find ourselves back to the homepage of the STEM Audio Ecosystem Platform. Now, in the previous video, we already covered all of the other buttons here. The only thing we didn't cover is the settings button, which we like to call the advanced settings. Whatever you set up over here is gonna then propagate to all the different devices and rooms in your organization. We're gonna later cover the advanced settings within the rooms and the devices, and that's gonna be relevant only to that room that you're in or the device that you are in. I'm gonna go ahead and select the settings button. All right, so now I find myself inside of the advanced settings. As you can see at top, I have my organization name, so I know this is for the entire organization. Now, the first thing that's gonna be on this page is that button that says apply settings. Because the way our system is built, once you make a change here, it's not gonna hold true until you click that apply settings button, and then that is what's actually gonna beam out that information to all the devices. So when you're done changing things, make sure to click that button, but don't worry if you forget to, the platform is actually gonna prompt you and gonna ask you, are you sure do you wanna exit without saving your changes? So below that, the first thing we see is schedule restart. You can actually schedule a organization-wide restart for all your devices. You don't need to do this, but in certain instances, you wanna reset your network. Maybe it's gonna be never, maybe weekly or daily. You can go ahead and do that. And the control for that is pretty straightforward. You can set the day and the time, and once you're done, you can click apply settings. After that, we have schedule testing. Works on the same exact principle as the reboot, only in this case, it's gonna run the tests. Now remember, you can run your tests only for particular rooms or for particular devices, but when you adjust it over here, very similar to the top, this is gonna make sure that all the devices and organization do a testing at the same time. So maybe it's convenient for you to do it on a weekend, at midnight, when uh, nobody's in the office and nobody can be bothered by these tests. So next down we have the toggle light display. This basically controls the active lights on all the devices. So when devices are working, they're showing you either beamforming or a blue status light. When you click lights off, then that will turn that off. It's important to mention that it will still keep on important lights such as mute indication. So when your users are gonna click mute, the red light will still blink or any reset or reboot lights. Afterwards, we have the IP address whitelist. Now this is not gonna be something that a lot of you are gonna to have to use, but if you have multiple virtual networks, you will be able to actually control devices that are on a separate virtual network by whitelisting it. So what you basically have to do is, you have to go ahead, type in that IP address of a device that's not on your virtual network, you add it onto this whitelist, and then once you do that, your controller will be able to see that device and still use it. Remember, this does not mean that devices that are on cross virtual networks can talk to each other, you can just control. Afterwards, we have our organization. This is basically the last control here. And what this does, when you click manage, you'll see, it allows you to exit an organization. So we originally set up our controller here to be part of the STEM audio organization. And if I wanna undo that and return it to either default, or if I wanna create a new organization, I'm gonna go ahead and control that from here. If I did not set my controller up as an organization, this will be the place that I will be able to set it up as well. And that basically concludes everything that we need to know about the advanced settings. So let's go ahead and exit and see what this looks like inside the room itself. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into a room. And we see that the settings are very similar to what I showed you before on the global. We have that apply settings button at the top. We can schedule a restart, schedule a testing. We can toggle on and off the lights. If I scheduled a global restart or testing time for my whole organization, and then I come into this room and I set a separate time for one of them for this particular room, that is going to override the global settings. So if my whole organization is set at midnight on Sunday, but then I went into this room and set it on Friday at 2 p.m., then this room is only gonna reset or retest itself uh, at that time. The other thing that we have here that we didn't show before is the SIP configuration. Now remember, you can actually set your room to have a SIP phone. To do that, you're gonna click on your SIP settings, and then you're gonna see all the credentials that you're gonna to need to punch in a SIP phone. This is something that you're gonna get from your SIP service provider, but this will allow you now to dial out from this room. 
That's it, we covered everything for the room, and you guessed it, I'm gonna show you now on the device level, we could do the same thing on each device. So I'll jump into one of these products here, I'll go to advanced, and the same exact screen. Now, why would I have SIP configuration on this screen as well as on the room screen? Well, if I have a single device, like in this case in a room, then I want that SIP configuration to be on the device itself, and then I can dial directly from that device. Remember that every STEM audio device can act as a standalone SIP telephone. Once you put it in a room, then only the hub's SIP configuration really matters. And the way you set that up is not through the hub, but rather through the room, which was what I showed you before, and that's here. So that's all there really is to know about advanced settings. Just remember how the hierarchy works here. Uh, once you set something on the global, it propagates it to all the devices. So if you just made a change in your room and then you went back to global, it's gonna override that. So the rule of thumb is if you want a particular setting on one device or in one room, but you want different settings on your global, start with that global settings propagated to everything, then dive into that room or that device and make the changes. And that way that's gonna be saved the way you want it to. That's about it. At this point, we covered everything you need to know about the STEM audio ecosystem platform. On the previous video, we covered all the different controls and managements for the devices. In this video, we dive a little bit deeper into the advanced settings, and you should be more or less an expert on the STEM Audio platform. If you have any other questions, remember we're still always here for you, so feel free to contact us. You can reach us by either phone, email, or chat. We're always happy to talk. Thank you for watching.